Spin here to show everybody the oh, come on let's do a little spin here we're gonna show everybody all the good property here isn't this fine we got some grade A escorts here <laughs> That's right. so anyways first question for me and everybody at villagetv.com is what are you up for today for these awards uh, I've been nominated for best bottom okay so, all right yeah. best bottom let's yeah, right. hear it let's hear it, it seems like I can wiggle my ass pretty well oh, okay <laughs> it's a very nice one too thank you I like the pink too by the way thanks very nice. So is this your first time being nominated? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. It's nice to be out here in LA. The weather is fabulous today. So it's kind of nice to take a break from school, come out, spend some time on the West Coast. Okay. Get a feel and for where it. are you from, for people who don't know? Uh, I am from South Carolina, but I live in Boca Raton, Florida. Look at you. You and yeah. all the old people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have gray as Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So, can you mind me asking some questions about the escort stuff? Sure, yeah. Okay. Give me an example of what would be like a great thing about the escort business and give me a thing that would be like kind of like, yikes. Wow. Well, those are two really good questions. Uh, one, the first would probably be that the good thing about it is it's opened up a lot of opportunities for me. I know a lot of pro people probably feel that that's, you know, baloney. It's just escorting. You're having sex. But the money is extremely well, and oh, it's yeah, it's, it's helped me get through school. All right. And you know, I'm I'm continuing my education and continue on to medical school. A and plus. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's opened up a lot of doors to me, and it's trained me to be money conscious, conscious of my time. You know, okay. worthy of a lot of different things. So good. Yeah, it's, it's been a very good venture for me so far. You got any stories that you? I'm sorry. You got any stories that maybe that were like? You, you, can you tell any horror stories? Is it okay? <laughs> or even like a bad thing? <laughs> I know that's a pressing question. Yeah, I guess I can tell you. No what names. Though. No names. No names. Well, I. This is kind of gross, but. Well, whatever. It's kind of <laughs> funny. You know, when you get on, when you're called to uh, to go to see your clients, you know, you kind of have to. You know, you know, do what they want what you they to do. Want. Yeah. Well, you know, it's give and business. take a little bit. So um, I was with actually another escort who lives in um, Pennsylvania, but we're not going to name any other names. Yes. Uh, but regardless, I don't know if I should tell you this because if you watch this, this is going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. I just I thought maybe someone, I don't know, people just think get a whole feel for what your whole job's like because maybe they don't know. Well, I mean, you know, a lot of it's dealing with riffraff, phone calls, constantly emails. I mean, you have to okay. go through and you have to have a roster. You have to really be very well organized. You have to, I mean, a lot. And you see a lot of people on there too that don't take it in the same way that I do. I mean, right. you know, they, they disrespect it. They use the money to go out and club every night. They party all the time. They go down a spiral that's constant and they never can get out of it. They're 30 years old. They don't have education. And they've spent their whole life escorting. So I that's such a good thing sometimes. But if you have a good mind and you keep your, you know, your your opportunities open, you know, I think it'll, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing, it definitely okay. is. Okay, well you have a very good head on your shoulders. Thank you. And what kind of medicine are you going to study? I would love to get into plastic surgery. Oh wow, well you were in the right town for that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll be like Nip Tuck in about 10 years, you <laughs> I know, actually one of the doctors. That. It's like so awesome. Okay. I got a couple more questions. Do you okay. aspire for any acting or any entertainment thing? This is entertainment, but other, other forms? Uh, not a, not any as of yet. I would love to have the opportunity. And a lot of people actually said, you know what? The porn and the escorting is going to be your downfall. You're not going to be able to get involved with that because you have this in your past. And I don't think that's true. I don't I think, think so either. Yeah, I think that if, if people like my personality and they like to see me on camera and they like to see me on their television screens, that, that doesn't matter what's in the past. I acknowledge it, accept it move forward from it and I don't look back on it as it being a negative thing at all. Okay. So, yeah. In ending, do you have anything, why do you look right in the camera? Do you have anything to say to any of your fans or people who are going to be your fans? Wow. Um, I put you on the spot a lot, huh? You, do, <laughs> you really had to do that. Am I turning red? No. Yeah, you're turning pink like your, like your shirt. Um, just... All I have to say is, you know, enjoy the movies. I've worked really hard on a lot of this stuff, and hope you guys enjoy it. 